The diagnostic services provided to the clients at the Sufre Hospital is expected to be enhanced significantly following the recent handover of coolers and a vehicle for specimen transportation and a chemistry analyzer to the Sufre Hospital from the Project Implementation Unit through its OECS Regional Health Project. The coolers and vehicle for specimen transportation will be used to safely transfer samples to the labs and the chemistry analyzer will allow for testing to be done at the Sufre Hospital. Project Coordinator of the Health System Strengthening Project and the OECS Regional Health Project, Jeanette Hughes, says that she is very pleased that the OECS Regional Health Project can make these items and vehicle available which will play a critical role in the strengthening of the health system and delivery of health services to clients. Component 1 is entitled Improve Health Facilities and Lab Capacity to specifically improve the lab network and to support investment in lab infrastructure. It is our expectation that the Sufre Hospital will maximize the use of these resources in an efficient manner and to better serve the clients of the institution. Principal Nursing Officer for the Sufre Hospital, Alicia Alexander, expressed heartfelt gratitude for the supplies and said this will allow for basic lab testing at the Sufre Hospital and improvement in the transportation of lab samples to the Ezra Long Lab and the St. Jude Hospital. Any urgent care unit should be able to obtain basic lab values. From patients with gastro infections, our DM patients, our hypertensive patients need basic labs. And also the availability of a chemistry and a hematology machine greatly, and I repeat, greatly, significantly strengthens our services. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Jenny Daniel, celebrated the support received for the OECS Regional Health Project and says this will allow the ministry to continue on its first to improve the quality of care provided in the primary health care setting. The enhancement of these diagnostic services at this facility will also assist in reducing out-of-pocket expenditure on lab services and transportation for the persons who access this facility within the catchment area of Sufre. This activity therefore is consistent with the principles of universal health coverage which speak to that of increasing accessibility and affordability in the accessing of quality health care services in St. Lucia. Mr. Ernest Auger, who was representing the parliamentary representative for Sufre, thanked the PIU for the support and said this signifies the concern the government places on providing essential health care to the people. It is extremely important, the, the initiative today, because it signals the government's intention, care concern, which it places on the provision of adequate and um, essential health care to the people. Minister for Health, the Honorable Moses Gervatis, expressed his gratitude for the handover of items and says this marks a steady and forward movement towards the attainment of universal health coverage. It is very important for us to keep focused to ensure that what we are doing will benefit people at the end of the day. It's important for us to focus on people, the patients, and not only patients, but St. Lucians who are well, and how do we keep St. Lucians and people who access our health services well. The wellness side of it is very important. The chemistry analyzer, coolers, and vehicle for specimen transportation was financed through the OECS Regional Health Project in tune of over EC $277,000. Reporting from the Project Implementation Unit within the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Fina Neptune.